so happy you joined us. We're going to talk about a really serious topic, and that is brain aneurysms. This is Todd Crawford, the founder, executive director of the Lisa Colagrossi Foundation. Lisa, uh, for all of New York and the tri-state area, knew her as a reporter. She died suddenly in 2015 from a brain aneurysm. Give me just a little bit of that story, Todd. So the, you know, she was vibrant, healthy as could be, never, you know, very sick, you know, worked out five, six days a week. And uh, she experienced one of the classic warning signs. And, you know, for several days, for a period over about six weeks, and we dismissed them uh, because we didn't know anything about, you know, brain aneurysms like men. Most Americans in this country had no idea what the classic warning signs were. Uh, she goes to work one morning on a bright sunny day in March um, of 2015 and I'm coming home from a business meeting at 9.15 in the morning, get a phone call from one of the top neurosurgeons uh, in the world uh, at uh, Cornell uh, in New York City uh, telling me they have my wife and that she had a massive brain bleed and that I need to get there right away. And uh, the rest was basically, you know, put her on life support till the family can get there. We can all say our goodbyes, and that's it. Let's show a picture of Lisa, which so many people uh, recognize her. Um, her symptoms you talked about were what? Headaches? Anything else? Yeah, so this, this is a very big problem in the U.S., and it affects as many as 15 million Americans. It targets women, especially, who are 50% more likely to develop a brain aneurysm than men. African Americans, 30 per, almost 30% more likely than uh, Caucasians. And um, it's, uh, you know, the classic warning signs include worst headache of life. It's a very unusual headache, nothing like you've ever had before. Um, Does it, it feel like of, a migraine or is it worse? It's worse. It comes out of nowhere. It's all, it, it, all the symptoms are sudden onset and the, the headache feels like a thunderclap, like a lightning bolt, like your head is going to literally explode because at that point brain is leaking into the brain and the brain is ever so uh, sensitive. And so uh, that's what the headache is on a scale of one to 10, it's a 15. And so, and the other symptoms are sensitivity to light, uh, a sudden onset of, you know, sharp, sudden pain behind or above one of your eyes, stiffness of neck, nausea and vomiting, and there are a whole host of others, and I would encourage your viewers to learn about those by visiting our website at lisafoundation.org, where we provide all the information. Let's talk about that. After Lisa's death and you have two young boys, you decided to commit your life to the Lisa Colagrosi Foundation. And I've seen it just in the short amount of time since her death in 2015 start to grow. Tell me about what has happened at the foundation and why you had to do this. Well, because, um, you know, th that what we've done in, in two very short years is we've quickly emerged as the nation's leader in raising awareness for brain aneurysms, education programs to educate the public about what brain aneurysms are, the classic warning signs and symptoms, what to do if you feel that you're experiencing one. And we've been credited with saving more lives in the last two years than any other foundation out there over the last 20. So, How does you know, that we, make you feel? It's uh, uh, bittersweet, it's very humbling um, because I couldn't save Lisa because we didn't know. So she lives on through those lives that we have saved in the U.S. and abroad. And we needed to do this because nobody, it was just a vacuum in terms of awareness and education in this country. And what I can promise everyone out there, Anne, is that uh, our work has just begun. We have barely scratched the surface. Lisa, the Lisa Colagrassi Foundation will become a household name in this country, synonymous with brain aneurysms, much like Susan G. Komen has become for breast cancer. And why that's important is because if we achieve that, then it, in a, in a, it means a, something very meaningful that we have a, you know, worked towards our mission to put this on people's radar screen so that fewer and fewer and fewer people are celebrating the anniversary of a death like we do every single year. And it's not just adults, children. Now everybody's, no one's immune, children to senior citizens, men, women, but 
like I said, the, um, the, the, the most at-risk groups are women who are 50% more likely, African Americans and Hispanics who are somewhere between 25 to 30% more likely to develop one. And it, ruptures are preventable if you know what to look for and take quick action. Time is of the essence, so that's the key. You also found that your organization put together the very first PSA. There, there wasn't one. How is that possible? Well, again, because I don't think a lot of people know how to do what we do, but just by nature, we, you know, all of us come from business backgrounds. I do with the Walt Disney Company, ESPN, ABC Sports, and other uh, brands. And, and so we've assembled a team of a who's who and kind of, you know, from corporate America who bring different skill sets and core competencies to this and look at it from not a medical point of view, but in a, in a marketing and PR uh, perspective. So that people can understand. Absolutely. Let's Maybe. take a look at, at that video. Sure. A brain aneurysm doesn't care if you're busy. It doesn't care that you have important meetings. It doesn't care that you have to drop your daughter off at ballet and your son off at soccer practice. And if you ignore the warning signs of a brain aneurysm, you'll realize too late that the meeting wasn't that important. No meeting is. That you'll never see another soccer game and that your daughter won't see you in the audience at the big recital. So if you suddenly experience the worst headache of your life, sharp pain behind your eye, and blurry vision, don't ignore it. Seek immediate emergency care because your family is counting on you to take care of you. The Lisa Calagrassi Foundation, shedding light on brain aneurysms. It's simple and to the point. You get it. An onset of a sudden headache. Yeah, it's, it's not necessarily exciting, but it, it delivers, you know, and gets the message across, which is what you want. And, and you know, we've developed some, the industry's first set of uh, graphics and a mnemonic, which is the light string, so that our thinking behind that was that it would help people recall the message, brain aneurysms, the warning signs, and the foundation that was associated with distributing that on national television across the across the country. Response to that was uh, a lot of feedback, a lot of people signing up through the website. You know, people making donations to you know the foundation. This is a foundation that is the most efficient in the space. Over uh, ninety percent of every dollar that the foundation brings in goes directly to fund our life-saving awareness and education programs. All right, you've done something recently which I didn't even see until, you know, today. Some football shoes. What, what is going on with the cleats? Um, let's show a couple of pictures of, of what's happening here. And you have ambassadors who we are do. helping you with this. So here we have a shoe with your wife's name on it. So we have a number of ambassadors who have been attracted to the foundation and committed to supporting and helping us because of our body of work and the credibility um, you know, that we've established in such a short period of time. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Mario Batali, you'll be who hearing had from a brain both. Of, aneurysm. He did and survived. And uh, Whoopi Goldberg paid tribute to Lisa the morning after she passed. And just a little over a month later, her brother died from the exact same thing. So you'll be hearing, and everyone across the country will be hearing from them sometime next year. Uh, the football program was a really neat program. We partnered, um, have several NFL ambassadors, players who have a personal connection to brain aneurysms, lost a parent or a loved one, wife, um, that, you know, um, uh, they wanted, they became, the NFL put together this program called My Cause, My Cleats. And they established it last year, so this was the second annual year. Uh, just took place this past weekend. And what it allows the, the players to do, Ann, is it allows them to kind of wear their hearts on their cleats and support a foundation and design their cleats around whatever foundation cause they really love and care about and support. And so we had, you know, several players in the NFL. Um, and you see a couple of the pictures there of the cleats that they designed around the Lisa Colagrassi Foundation, and we'll have more players involved, you know, next year. And, and we are, you know, working with other, you know, sports properties and entertainment properties as well on uh, marketing, marketing platforms and with individuals that will, you know, help us get the word out. 
You feel Lisa around you all the time. I do. And you feel as though she's guiding you. Do, is there an end game to this? I mean, this this is just a foundation in its infancy, just two years old. Where, right. where is it headed? Do you even know? Yeah, I think I do. I mean, it, it, this will become the go-to organization for brain aneurysms, everything brain aneurysms in the United States and abroad, um, you know, over the next several years. And, um, you know, it, it's, I do feel her close to me. This is a story about, you know, unconditional and eternal love. It's a story about perseverance. It's a story about, you know, uh, turning our heartbreak into helping others so that others don't have to celebrate the anniversaries they d we do because it's not just about celebrating an anniversary of a death it's about all the other anniversaries birthdays wedding anniversary the holidays and not having that special person in your home not having the traditions i mean when somebody passes like lisa does i mean it destroys and and just shatters everything and women are so vital to the family if i could get one message across i think this is a women's empowerment message too they take so much care of themselves on the outside but they need to listen to what's going on with their bodies especially you know with their with their head and their brain and you know if we can um, you know we've already established ourselves as the leader in saving lives and like i said our work has barely begun uh, what we need is support you know, and resources, and and we need people to donate to this foundation to fund our programs. We promise we will use your money very efficiently, more efficiently than anybody else, and uh, and we need people to offer support in in other ways as well. And we need companies. We're looking for Fortune 500 companies in the healthcare space and elsewhere. You know that you know this message may resonate with to to come. You know, approach us. Let's have a conversation and uh, and let's see what might be possible. And look how far you've come already. Right. Todd Crawford, thanks so much for coming on and enlightening us once again and grow for years to come. Uh, you're my pleasure. And again, it's lisafoundation.org for your viewers. lisafoundation.org. Thank you. Thank you. Spend all night kissing and a bottle's right here, then who else is missing? Got a little sidetracked to find my solution. I find the keys to the door, but it's also a metaphor. Need to keep locked in the grocery store of the mind. Just the same time, I skip right ahead to the nice ride.